Het tweede en laatste interview waarvoor we het stralende Utrecht hebben verruild voor Londen. Hallo, ik ben Louise Dearman en ik speel Glinda in Wicked in Londen. En dit is musicalworld.tv. is Wicked in Nederland en Musical World mag de Londense Glinda spreken. En we kennen haar ook gewoon als Louise Dearman. Thank you Louise for having us. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you. Like a comet pulled from orbit as it passes the sun. Like a stream that meets a boulder halfway through the wood. The moment that I knew Wicked had opened on Broadway, I've been keeping my eye out to see who's playing Glinda, who's leaving the, the show so that I could audition for it, and it really is an absolute dream to play Glinda. Did you wait to grab your opportunity? I tried, yes, I think people cling on to Wicked, they don't want to leave because it's an incredible show to be part of, and I think once you're in, you know, you're in that company and, and performing that show every single night, you don't want to leave. I guess it would be very, very hard to leave this show. So yeah, I, I waited in the wings, if you like, waiting to see when my opportunity would come. Why did you think you were Glinda, not Alphaba or um, Nessa Rose? Yeah, well, I, it's funny you should say that, because when, when Wicked first came over to London, lots of my friends, I think maybe because of the roles I played before, lots of my friends instantly thought that I would go up for the role of Alphaba. Um, but what I love about Glinda is that it, she sings in a completely different place to what I normally would with the soprano. Mm -hmm. She's a great comedy role, and I wanted to play a role that had that real quirky character and um, try something completely different to what I'd ever done before. And um, so, yeah, in, in, my, in my head, Glinda was the role that I really wanted to go for. Singing the part was quite a challenge for you. Definitely. But acting the part, uh, uh, Elphaba is the one who's the brave uh, girl. Yeah, Elphaba, Elphaba goes through an awful lot. She's an, she's an outcast. She's... Um, She's bullied because of, you know because she's green. Um, nobody really wants to make friends with her. Glinda, I like to think that she's a spoilt girl. She's a daddy's girl, but she does have a heart. And it, it takes her a, a little while. She goes around the long way, but she eventually learns not to judge a book by its cover. She eventually learns to to see people for what they are inside, for who they are inside. And and then her and Alphaba become the very best of friends. Listening to your album, I hear a very different Louise. I love so many different types of music. I listen to so many different types of music. Um, and yes, you're right, with Glinda, um, it's a whole character. So not only physically you have to change the way you move, but also the way I speak. You know, she's, she's very, very like this, and very high and quite quirky and pitchy sound. Um, but yeah, obviously when I sing a completely different song, a very emotional song, then it's my voice rather than, within Wicked, it's Glinda's voice. Oh, who can say if I've been changed for the better? come here to London to see the show and I've had letters from you know people over there and it's fantastic it really is that we do get people from uh, all over the world come to see Wicked in London it's the first show that they will choose to go and see mm -hmm. especially if they've seen it in their own country I guess they're in London they want to see the similarities you know or the differences between the two shows doesn't that create a, a an extra pressure for you um, I don't think so. I think it's exciting more than anything. I, when I go to see a show, I like to see, if I see it a couple of times, I actually love to see how the different actresses or actors play it differently, how they portray the roles. Um, yeah, I think it's exciting. It would be very boring if everyone played it exactly the same. Mm. And what do you think is, is the, the, global, the, the secret of its global success? 
The Secret of Wicked, I think there's many, many things. Obviously, the inspiration was behind Gregory Maguire's novel, which is incredible. Um, the music, the set design, the costumes, everything comes together with this fantastic story about these two young women and the journey they take together. It's, it's spellbinding, it really is, and everyone who watches it can't help but be moved. There are so many ups and downs in the show, it's an emotional roller coaster. who maybe have never seen a musical I love that they come to see Wicked and whether they are into musicals or not to hear them say wow that was incredible and I absolutely enjoyed it and I'm going to come back and bring friends that's such a brilliant thing brilliant mm. thing to hear Aside from being a musical actor, an actor has to be an entrepreneur. I'm a very busy, very busy woman. Um, yes, I do. I did quite a few concerts last year and I'll be doing another one this year, later on in the year. Um, I also do lots of recordings. Um, we are working on a new album. A new album? Very exciting, yes. We're working on a new album. Um, Spill yeah. some beans uh, about that It's album. going to be very, very different. Um, my last album, as you know, You and I, um, was all musical theatre songs, all musical mm -hmm. theatre covers. All very different, but this time, um, I think we're going to go for original songs. Um, so original it really, songs. it really will be the kind of music I'm passionate about, the kind of music that really showcases Louise Dearman's voice. Uh, what I'm hoping for it to be is a big sound, um, a kind of big band sound, great melodies, but with beautiful lyrics as well. So, you know, it will have a theatrical edge to it, if you like a theatrical edge, but yeah, it will be very different to what I've done before. And your live shows, what kind of image or what kind of persona would you like to convey? I love my concerts to be good fun. That's fun. the most important thing. Um, I like a huge range of songs, genres, styles, but in between the songs, when I'm chatting to my audience, I like them to have a good time and to be able to just relax and just not take everything too seriously, I think is my motto. Wake me up inside, wake me up inside, call my name and save me from the dark, bid my blood to run before I come undone, save me from the nothing I've become. I love being glamorous when I'm doing my concerts, I'm very much a very casual person on a day to day, day, -to -day basis, but when I do a concert, I love to get some sparkles and some red lips and things like that. So. And sing a nasty song. Yes. <laughs> Pretend I'm Beyonce for one night. When is your next concert uh, schedule? It will be later on in the year, around September time, but we're not sure just yet, but yeah. And when does recording start uh, for in your album? next month. Mm. We're going to start recording in the next month. Um, we're hoping to start, it's a bit of a secret, but maybe with a single release. Um, and then we'll go on to do the rest of the concert, um, rest of the album, excuse mm -hmm. me. But I'm very excited because it's completely new for me to do something so, so new and so different. <laughs> Winter, 
there will be a Dutch production uh, of Wicked. Oh, amazing. <laughs> well, you'll lose uh, quite some Dutch fans oh, because they, they'll they stay in Holland. Oh, no, I hope they still come over. You need to see it in Holland and over here. Yes, Don't forget and to come to London. Yeah. <laughs> but I would like to show uh, your uh, Dutch counterpart. Okay. But she didn't uh, she didn't showcase her Glinda part of course because okay. it'll take a few months. Yeah. But now currently she is in a Dutch a typically original Dutch musical yeah. which uh, which was said to be written all for her and I would like to sh to show her to you and you Fabulous. hear her voice. Yeah. And uh, maybe you can comment. This is your Dutch colleague. Six. Chantal. Chantal. Yes. Oh, she's so cute! Beautiful teeth! <laughs> I'll tell her. Yeah, tell her. Beautiful. Oh, she's fantastic. She needs to come to London. Then I'll come over to see yes. her. This is oh. a ballad. Oh, she's wonderful. What do you think of She'll her be a singing? perfect Linda. She has a lovely voice. She has a very pure, clean voice. I love that. She's lovely. What is this? This is the title song. Oh, okay. Oh, I like her wig. <laughs> she's a little swirly wig. It looks like something from Hairspray. <laughs> She's going to be a perfect Glinda. She's that's, very cute. That's Chantal Jonze, a very Dutch last name. Yeah, very. <laughs> do you these dear men. <laughs> Do you have advice, an advice, a tip for Chantal? Oh wow, just enjoy every every single minute. Glinda is a fantastic role to play and I'd love to see how she plays her. Um, yeah, it's just it ticks every box for me. You get to sing the opening, No One Wants the Wicked. Beautiful, lyrical, soprano melody. And then popular. It's total extreme, so I just say, enjoy. Have a great time. Thank you. What is the Glinda we're going to see when we see Louise Dearman do Glinda? Louise Dearman's Glinda is very quirky, very spoilt, a little bit erratic, and actually sometimes she's not very girly. When I, I think when I just naturally, when I was jumping around in things like popular, she, come, she becomes a little bit boisterous, actually. She's like a bull in a china shop, but I have a fantastic time. And I had to, I did too. Oh, good. Thank you very much, Louise. Thank you so much. Bye.